A balanced diet isn't just about carbohydrates, fats and proteins. There's water, vitamins, minerals and fibre to consider too. What do you know about fibre? You get fibre in bran and cereals. Fibre is used to keep the food moving around your digestive system. To help digestion. I don't know what it does for you, but I know where it comes from. I think I eat enough fibre, have enough fibre in my diet, because I eat a lot of cereal, and um, I'm not sure how much you need. Research shows that teenagers in general don't eat enough fibre. Fibre helps not only day to day by helping the digestive system, but it protects you in the long term against heart disease and some kinds of cancer. It's easy to make sure you're getting enough fibre. Great sources include rice, potatoes, whole grain bread and breakfast cereals. Foods rich in fibre also keep you feeling full. And if you're feeling full, there's less chance of snacking on chocolate bars. Next up, minerals. What do you know about minerals in your diet? I think you need quite a few minerals in your diet and I think you get them from fruit and, well, from fruits. To keep your body healthy and to keep bones and stuff healthy. I know you can definitely be short of minerals. You get a lot of minerals and stuff like fruit and water and veg and I think minerals are very good for your body. I think iron's a mineral and you need iron in your body for the blood, is it? Is calcium a mineral? We get minerals from a range of foods and not just fruits and vegetables. There are lots of different types of minerals, but the key ones in the teenage years are iron and calcium. Calcium is vital for strong, healthy bones, and we know that teenage girls in particular are not consuming enough calcium in their diet. And this can cause problems later on in life with weak or brittle bones. Sources of calcium include dairy products, breads, cereals and pulses. Iron's important too. We need iron to make red blood cells and to carry oxygen around the body. Not enough can result in anemia. Good sources include red meat, fortified breakfast cereals, dried fruit and green leafy vegetables. Not only do breakfast cereals contain minerals, they also contain a whole bundle of vitamins. What do you know about vitamins? You get lots of vitamins from fruits and citrus fruits contain lots of vitamin C. I know there are lots of vitamins beginning with letters like A, B, C, D, etc. Some people with dietary needs take vitamin tablets to supplement what they don't get in food. Some people get vitamin deficiencies because they're not eating certain types of food. I think you get them mainly from fruits and vegetables and stuff that's meant to be healthy for you. There are lots of different types of vitamins and it's better to get these from foods rather than from a vitamin pill. If you're eating a healthy, varied diet, then you're probably getting all the vitamins you need. And finally, water. Your body is two-thirds water, and some bits, like your brain, are 80% water. You can survive without food for several days, but not water. Water is essential for not only eliminating toxins from the body, but also to keep the skin, the hair and vital organs healthy.